So I've got the Temple Fork Outfitters Blue Ribbon. That's their new rod series in the nine foot five weight. I've seen some reviews out there on the Blue Ribbon in the 10 foot four weight, I believe, possibly 10 foot three weight, but didn't see any on the on, on the nine footers or the shorter models. So being that the uh, nine foot five weight's kind of the, the bread and butter of Western trout fishing, I just wanted to give uh, give this rod a quick review. Um, first off, the rod comes in a, a pretty sturdy tube here. This tube's a little heavy if you're into ultralight backpacking or just keeping things really light as you hike, hike into the stream in, in the morning with your rod broken down. So if that's an issue for you, you might want to see about maybe getting a lighter tube or the rod comes in uh, with, with a sock as well. So you've got the sock, you know, that's another option. Uh, give up a little protection uh, transporting the rod without a sock, but in my experience, it's as long as you're careful, it's not not a big deal. Um, onto the rod itself. So we've got a double up locking reel seat here. We've got this nice woven graphite spacer there for the reel spacer. Uh, the blank is kind of a nice green brown uh, spruce color. So, um, to continue this review, I'm going to go head down to the stream and rig this rod up, do a few casts, maybe some fishing with it, and let you all know what I think. All right, you know, down here by the stream, got the, the rod all uh, rigged up, but um, yeah, the rod, uh, bare weight of the rod is 3.1 ounces. Um, not sure if I mentioned that before. Um, you know, Temple Fork lists it at 3.2 so they're actually overstating their weight which is um, kind of contrary to what a lot of other manufacturers uh, do uh, my experience a lot of other manufacturers tend to understate the weight but anyhow um, this rod balances up pretty nicely with this uh, older Reddington Rise uh, 5.6 reel um, this reel bare weighs about 5.3 ounces so um, this this rod will bounce up nice with any any reel that's about you know five ounces give or give or take. Um, the rod itself uh, it's got some stiffness, some backbone, um, but it's very true to line weight. It casts very well with the uh, Scientific Angler's frequency trout line that's on here, or you could go with the Rio Gold. I would not overline this rod or use um, MPX or other heavy lines for it. I'd also avoid some of the budget lines like the. Uh, Orvis Clearwater and the um, Rio Mainstream because those tend to be heavy. They're just going to slow the action down. But this rod's got a nice uh, soft tip. I uh, tested this rod out, um, kind of using a weighting, using a bag of pennies off the tip, and it's it's definitely a true five weight. Uh, it's got kind of a nice soft um, tip, so it's kind of your classic medium fast action. I would say that. Uh, this, this rod actually leans slightly on the side of fast in terms of having some good stiffness through the uh, butt section, uh, also into the midsection, but having that, that soft tip. So this rod uh, has cast very accurately um, for me. Uh, this rod does have alignment dots and they do um, line up pretty well. Using a technique here called high sticking, keeping the uh, rod tip high to keep line off the water, minimize uh, drag, going for that drag free drift. Got a hopper dropper here. In this kind of water, it pays to 
get as close as you can, keep a low profile, and make short, accurate casts, minimize drift, you get a lot of line on the water, that line's just gonna get sucked by the current all over the place, potentially drown your fly, definitely ruin your drift. Okay, so I fished this rod here for about an hour on this um, mid-sized kind of pocket water uh, freestone stream uh, here in southern Idaho behind me. Um, caught several rainbows, most of them smaller. Honestly, the biggest one I caught was about nine inches, so no monsters today, but just some fun smaller stream fishing. <laughs> caught them on this hopper dropper, but um, doing a lot of high sticking with this rod. This rod's got a pretty light you know, swing weight, and so paired with this reel it worked really well for high sticking made a few few shorter casts um you know really like the way the the rod uh loaded up so um i think this rod would be an excellent all-around trout rod for the uh, walk and wade angler um you know if you fish a lot of really big waters um, and maybe really heavy uh indicate nip indicator setups or streamers but you know if you're slinging a lot of lead out there you know like a big indicator a couple heavy split shot and some big nips you might want to go with either a faster action rod or maybe a six weight um, but as far as a good um, five weight for it's very versatile that's going to get the job done on a lot of your small mid-size uh, even even kind of pocket water sections of larger rivers um, you know for the weight angler or for the boat angler angler that's uh, given off some more delicate presentations um, this is an excellent rod um, once again it's true to line weight um, cast great with this scientific anglers um, you know el el cheapo inex fairly inexpensive um, frequency uh, trout so uh, you know if you're in the market for a new rod uh, i definitely give this rod consideration um, it's easy to cast smooth casting um, it's accurate you know just a just a great rod for uh, the beginner uh, angler, you know, intermediate angler, kind of like myself, or kind of an advanced angler that likes uh, uh, easy loading, um, smoother casting type of rod. So hope that helps you out. Thanks.